Hey everybody, Supercar Street Racing here. How's it going today? I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys my whole home audio system. And uh, I'm going to do that now. So, look around. so um, when I bought the house, I started on the whole home audio um, immediately. I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but um, I went ahead and got up in the attic and ran all the wiring and everything. I kind of want to show you guys this before I show you the uh, the um, smart home stuff in a different video but um, closet's a little messy because this is where I keep all my Amazon package for returns but um, so this is the whole home audio system here for the house and uh, basically it's a less expensive way of going than having a, a switching system for each room I'm basically doing a manual switch for the rooms there and this is a pioneer uh receiver this is a vsx 1124k and it is actually my leftover receiver from when i got a new receiver for my home theater um, which you guys will see here shortly as part of the home home audio now this monitor up here it's strictly for the receiver to be able to look at the setup menu because without that some of the features um, are not available like it's very hard to find them on the remote so if we just press home here we should see yeah see how now we can see the uh, well, it still says no signal but um, may have come unplugged but that's uh, Oh, there we go. Well, I'm not sure, but that's supposed to be the menu for the uh, receiver there, like when you press that home button. Oh, there it goes, okay. So that's how you set up the receiver, um, all the speaker modes and everything on it. Um, so that's why I have this monitor here. Right below that, you can see that there is a speaker selector switch for each room. Generally, I leave all the speakers on um, all the time. Um, they are not individually level controllable. That's the only thing about this. There are selector switches that do that, but they don't have this many um, rooms available. Oh, also, um, computer, turn on the audio closet light. So I probably should have done that first, huh? So I have a smart home plug in here with the uh with a fluorescent light back in the back all my wiring goes up through the walls into the attic up through there behind the speaker selector box and this is my behringer ultra bass pro so this is a subharmonic synthesizer or what this does is it enhances bass it actually creates lower fuller bass um, and it has several settings there's a dbx unit that's similar um, I think it's the 120 or something like that but basically you can adjust the amount of uh, you know synthesized bass you want it's got um, a frequency adjustment for how low you want the bass to be uh, the frequency wise uh, a diameter dynamic punch and then it's got a subharmonic or an ultra bass um, then you can select um, ultra low or punch you can adjust I've got it right in the center and then sorry the camera wasn't even on there the whole time um, you've got a bass limiter if you want it and then this section over here is to send bass to your satellite speakers which I do not use that part um, I've got my satellites in the ceilings all running full range um, because some rooms don't have subwoofers most do but some don't um, there is a JBL 10 inch subwoofer here in the closet as well that handles bass for this side of the house very well um, and the main source of music here is this audio echo dot um you see the music just stop it there's some more playing now it's supposed to be royalty free so i don't get copyright struck but basically the way this works is from any room and i'm i'm gonna do a smart home tour another time from any room i can say i can tell you know if i say it now she's gonna wake up but if i say you know the smart home thing and play something on this device here, like what kind of music I want, it will start playing in the house. 
Now there's some other smart home options that I'll show you guys when I show you the smart home stuff. There's ways to play music um, from any room that has um, the Echo Show or a fire stick. You can create music groups and then you can play in various other rooms. Um, so this is the audio closet. This is the amplifier section that feeds the whole house. And um, really, really like the ability to just have the uh, the dot right there. Um, just makes things so much easier. Now, if you really wanted to, you can control this from the phone as well um, with the Pioneer remote app. And this guy will play, this is internet capable too. It will play internet radio, um, Pandora, but you don't really need it if you have this guy because that's really all you need. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, closet. Um, give you guys a tour of what the in-ceiling speakers look like now. All right, guys, uh, let's take a look at the in-ceiling setup here. So as you can see in the bedroom here, we got, uh, these are actually six and a half. Uh, they're not the eights. Um, I have slowly been upgrading these speakers to eight inch speakers when they fail. I haven't done this room yet because actually I am going to be putting 5.1 audio in this room. And so I'm going to be using that for the center channel. That's gonna be the rear center if I have a rear center. I don't even know if I'll have that, but I'm gonna do two more in the front there for left and right, two here for the, for the mid speakers and then two more in the back for the surround. So that's the bedroom. Now let's take a look at the living room. So the living room has the upgraded ones. Those are actually eight inch. They're uh, eight inch with a tweeter um, in the center. The other ones are six and a half with the tweeter in the center. So this room actually eventually, when I have time, will get 5.1 sound as, as well, all in the ceiling. Um, and uh, this room also has the refurb Hulk PSW 10 from yesterday that we acquired for $30 and uh, cleaned up really nice. Um, the only thing it really needs is the screws cleaned up. I got to get the same screws from Home Depot because those are rusted out. Taking a look at the sunroom here, we've got the 8 inch with the tweeters in the center there. It's a different design. See how those, you can't see the tweeter? The ones on the sunroom, you can. Kitchen. Got the eight inch there with the tweeter in the middle that's covered with the grills. Moving into the office area, we've got still the six and a halves. Those need to be upgraded. I noticed these speakers will start cutting out after a while. I think the wires on the voice coil come loose a little bit and then they stop playing because if you like tap them, they'll come back on. Then moving into the bathroom area, we've got, uh, since this is a small room here, I did one eight inch there and one, one eight inch there. Um, I noticed this one up here is actually starting to do that weird thing with the voice coil um, wire, I believe, because you literally tap it with a broom and it comes back on and I believe that's a short. All right, so moving on to the patio. So the patio is a, a kind of an interesting story here because um, it had a cabinet there that literally fell apart and it had its own amplifier powering uh, those speakers and then I had a powered subwoofer in the cabinet as well and then there's a uh, 50 inch television there so when that cabinet failed I decided um, I don't, actually I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet because I'm gonna be redoing my pool here pretty quickly but um, these can actually run off of the of zone 2 of the uh, the uh, amplifier in the closet inside so for now you can still do fire stick here and listen to it on this through um, the whole house audio thing with uh, with the echo devices 
Um, all the rooms have, uh, most of the rooms have either monitors or televisions and fire sticks. I will show that on my smart home video tour, which will be quite extensive as my house is completely smart home, everything. Moving out to the garage, we've got the eight inch in ceiling out here as well. The only thing that I'm lacking in the garage is a subwoofer and I'm going to do that um, as soon as I find a nice, another PSW-10, I'm gonna throw it out here and then um, of course run the prerequisite wires. I don't know where I'm gonna do that, probably that up in that corner there, come down since uh, you can't see that up there. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get the wires from the back of these guys, I'll just take um, speaker level out of these guys and then run them to a subwoofer. So guys, that's my uh, whole home audio tour. Now, I did want to show you guys my home theater, which died last night, literally. Died. I think the bulb in my projector finally gave out after about seven years, but this is my theater room, which I will do a full tour on as soon as I get a uh, new bulb for my projector. I think that's what that's what happened. Now the bulb lasted a long time because it is. I run it in eco mode, and I um, that, like ever since I got the uh, projector, I've run it in eco mode. And I've just kind of got it strapped up on a on a uh, glass shelf up there underneath, and it's a 120 inch screen. Um, we have a Pioneer receiver, JBL front speakers. And then I did the surround sound uh, six and a half for the surround sound. And I have a um, Advent center channel. The screen is made by me. Um, it is paint. It's called home theater screen paint. You can get it at Lowe's. I framed out the screen myself and uh, painted and sanded the wall. And it came out amazing. I ran all the wire. I did pretty much everything in this room myself. I did the paint, um, I did all the electrical work, I did the audio cabling. So the cables go to wall plates behind the receiver. They go up through the ceiling there to the speakers and also HDMI to the projector, which is a really, really nice um, Epson. It's not 4K, um, don't think I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon because they're really expensive for a true 4K. But uh, it, does, it does do 1080p and it's very bright. Um, and I highly recommend it. Um, I don't remember the model number. I'll have to get it and put it in the description. But yeah, so this is the home theater room. Um, of course, that light's usually off. Um, I got my art there, my projector up there, and a uh, reclining couch there, and a futon there, 120 inch screen. It's actually capable of going wider. That's just as far back as I can go um, without the door. If you, if you want to get an idea of how big the screen is, there's the door. So this, that's as big as it can go without taking the door off, literally, um, which I thought about doing that, but I did not do it. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, wanted to do a quick tour and show you guys uh, the home audio system. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or need advice on anything home audio related, um, please don't hesitate to, to put it down in the comment section. Have a good day.